वेलकम और नेक्स्ट वीडियो क्लास इज पार्ट थ्री ऑन सेट रिलेशन एंड मैपिंग लेटस टेक द फर्स्ट चैप्टर फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम ऑफ दैट इट इज इफ लेट लेट नॉट इफ लेट ए बी सी आर थ्री सेट्स साथ दैट ए इज इक्वल टू बी मेट सी एंड बी इज इक्वल टू सी मेट ए देन हुईच वन इज ट्रू नंबर वन A is a subset of B. B is a subset of A. A is equal to B, and B is equal to C. Meet A. These are the four options from. Uh, Venn diagram very easily you can solve it. Given that A is equal to oh I have mistake in somewhere A is equal to B meet C and B is equal to C meet A. Okay now okay now um, given that A is equal to in the set A. Is B intersection C. Suppose this is B set and this is A set. Tell it C set. This is C set. This is B set. B intersection C is that part. So it is our A. A set is within that, and B is equal to C meet A. C and A C is that thing, and A is only that part. C intersection A, it is B. So in fact, that whole B is A. So A is equal to B is the option. Next one. Let f function n to n set of natural numbers to set of natural number, where f n is equal to n square if n is odd. Is equal to 2n plus 1 if n is even. Then f is number one, one to one, and on to. Second option bijective. Third option injective but not surjective. Surjective. Neither injective. Not subjective. Now, let us see the problem. A function is defined from set of natural numbers to set of natural number. So its elements are only natural number. 
if n is equal to this n square if n is odd and this is if n is even so it has actually it has either odd integers or even integers if n is odd then mapping is this and if n is even mapping is that then uh, we have to find whether this mapping f is this or this or this or that acha one thing if we have first of all we have to find out 1 1 into onto uh, many 1 into etc so if say f 3 now 3 is odd so this one so the fn will be n square means 3 square 9 again f 4 now 4 is even so mapping is this 2 into 4 plus 1 that is 9 again 9 so 3 map to 9 again 4 map to 9 same number therefore uh, actually it is not 1 1 it is many 1 tale we get it is not 1 1 it is not 1 1 acha next tale it is many 1 okay now next find the bijective means bijective means uh, it is 1 1 and on to now let us see whether it is on to or into bijective what is surjective surjective is on to mapping so let us see whether, whether it is on to or not on to means into one thing if n is equal to n square when n is odd so n square it must be odd quantity if n is equal to odd odd when when n is odd again if n is this when n is even it is very clear n is this n is odd or even this is this together is odd quantity so by this law it gives a odd quantity by this law it is also a odd quantity so in whatever it is odd or even the result is always odd so all the even numbers here are untouched so uh, it is not onto so into so not onto now let us see what would be the result not one one that is not not injective not surjective surjective means onto so this is our correct option now next problem it is next problem is f a to b where a is set of numbers x such that minus 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1 that is a is a set of all numbers all real numbers between minus 1 to plus 1 including these two and b is a set of numbers x such that it is y such that y 1 less than or equal to y less than or equal to 2 is a mapping that is given and fx is given as 1 plus x square then f is now some options are there number 
injective in short i have written it in short injective but not subjective injective but not subjective then next one subjective but not injective injective both injective and subjective neither last option injective nor subjective Yeah, one by one, you see. Mapping is from A to B. A is real numbers from minus one to plus one. B is real numbers from one to two. And mapping is f x is equal to one plus x square. Then, um, out of the four options, which one is true? Uh, first of all, let us see. Say that it is one one means injective or not. So very clear that f of minus one is equal to one plus one is equal to two. F of one again one plus one is equal to two. So these two points mapped to same point two. So it is not injective. not injective i write the result not injective so this is not true it may be true if it is subjective this is not true this we have to check now now check for whether it is subjective or not subjective means it is on to mapping means all all elements in that are image point of at least one of the them that is all are engaged to for that purpose let us suppose that b is a member of capital b so b lies between one and suppose that it is that b is a image point of a that means f a is equal to b now let us see whether such a such a exist there or not if exist a must be a real number between minus 1 to plus 1 apply formula f x is that the 1 plus s square is equal to b the s square is equal to b minus 1 now b you see b lies between b is a member of b b lies between 1 and 2 so this this lies between 0 to 1 b minus 1 1 0 to why 0 to 1 b lies between 1 to 2 then b minus 1 lies between 0 to 2 minus 1 that is 1 so a square is a when a square is equal to a number which is positive and lies between 0 to 1 so a actually it must lie between minus 1 and plus 1 so which is the true case here uh, where na a actually um, a actually lies between minus 1 and plus 1 so we get for any element b over here it has a pre image there which lies between minus 1 and plus 1 hence it is subjective 
so we get not injective but subjective not injective but subjective so this one is correct result our next problem let f r to r is a mapping where fx is equal to x by x minus 1 then f composition f composition f composition up to 19 terms 19 terms or 19 times each that is result of that one is either x by x minus 1 that is it is itself it itself then x by x minus 1 to the power 19 19x by 19x minus 1 and finally x these are the options that is case is very simple this is a function defined by that and its ranges from real to real means any real number to any real number and this is applied 19 times then for what will would be the result suppose uh, now we take now a composition fx means i take two times it is equal to f of fx means fx means f of x by x minus 1 fx is x by x minus 1 it is equal to f of that now uh, x is not now it is not x x by x minus 1 so result will be x means x by x minus 1 whole divided by x minus 1 it is equal to that x minus 1 will be cancelled from numerator and denominator so i am not writing it so now here is x minus x plus 1 so it is equal to x so when this process is taken two times result is x this one now if the process is taken at uh, three times the result will be f of f of f of f of x it is simply equal to x one second i am re repeating f of f composition f composition f x means this it is equal to x that's why the, they together is x so f x is x by x minus 1 so when applied once result is this x by x minus 1 when applied twice result is x when applied three times result is again x by x minus 1 if it is applied four times f composition f composition f composition f x it is equal to f of this a composition a composition f x means that is equal to f of x by x minus 1 it is a this thing same thing happens is after simplification this is equal to x now picture is clear if applied once the result is this 
if applied two times result is this if applied three times result is this four times result is that that is if it is applied odd number of times then result is this and if applied even number of times result is that now here 19 times is applied so our result is this now our next problem f n to n set up natural numbers to set up natural number and fx is equal to 7 minus x c com combination C, uh, just one minute. X minus three. Then domain of definition of X. We have to find out domain of definition of X. So from there, it is clear that if it is of the type N C R, N must be positive. R must be positive, so we get seven minus x so to be positive. That is, x is less than seven. Equal, even equal to. This is positive. X minus three is positive. That is, three is greater than or equal to. Or rather, x is x. Is greater than or equal to three, so we get these two. That is, x lies between three to seven. And one, one more. If it is n c r, n is n for n c r, so n is greater than or equal to r. Therefore, seven minus x. Is greater than or equal to x minus three. Taking this to that side and this into that side, then is greater than or equal to two x. That is, x is less than or equal to five. So we get three inequality. X is greater than or equal to three. X is less than or equal to seven, and x is less than or equal to five. So five and seven they together is x less than or equal to five, and this. So result is three, four, five. Three, four, and five. So values of x can lie between three, four, and five. And mind that x are members of n means set of natural numbers. Only natural numbers are allowed. Therefore, the correct answer is three, four, five. Or oh, options I have forgotten. So this option, I think, it is there. Uh, this option is there. Option B, three, four, five is our correct answer. Next, next problem. If R to R set of real number to set of real number G R to R, where f x is equal to third bracket x means Integral part of x and g x is equal to mod x. Then, if 
g of 8 by 5 minus g of f of minus 8 by 5 is some options are there 2 0 minus 1 and 1 0 minus 1 ok Achha now first of all we calculate this this is also very 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 simple problem basic concept of modulus function and integral part function so first of all this part f of g of 8 by 5 is equal to f of g 8 by 5 means mod of g means mod x gx is mod x g of that is mod 8 by 5 so f of 8 by 5 f means box of 8 by 5 so integral part of 8 by 5 it is actually positive so it is one as because it is one point something so this is simply equal to 1 this part and second part is g of f of minus 8 by 5 is equal to g of f of f means box of box function minus 8 by 5 actually this is negative and negative and it is minus 8 by 5 is equal to minus 1 point something 1 point something so as because it is negative its value is greatest integer is minus 1 plus something so it is minus 2 plus something so it is equal to g of minus 2 and g of minus 2 is equal to mod of 2 is equal to 2. So our answer is this minus that that is it is equal to 1 minus 2 is equal to minus 1. So minus 1 is correct answer. Next problem. On set of real numbers, a relation is defined R is equal to xy such that x is greater than y plus 1. Then R is number 1 symmetric number 2 transitive but not symmetric reflexive but not symmetric not symmetric not transitive question of relation one relation is defined as x y means x is related with y provided x is greater than the first top first one is greater than y plus 1 then there is a relation between x and y and x y belongs to set of real numbers 
then what is the uh, result? The first of all, we have to see whether it is symmetric or not. So, symmetric means if x uh, relates with y, then y will relate with x as given that x relates with y then x is greater than y plus 1 then y is less than y is less than x minus 1 so there is no question that y, y, y is greater than x plus 1 so it is not symmetric then let us see whether it is transitive or not if to be transitive if x relates with y and y relates with z then x must relate with z x relates with y y relates with z then x must relate with z it is given that x relates with y means x is greater than y plus 1. y relates with z means y is greater than z plus 1. Therefore, x is greater than y means z plus 1 plus 1 that is greater than z plus 2. x is greater than z plus 2 that is x is greater than obviously z plus 1. So, if x relates to y, y relates to z, then clearly x relates with z because this is the case. Therefore, it is symmetric. So, uh, not symmetric, it is transitive. So, it is transitive. And already we have seen that it is not symmetric. So, this is not symmetric and transitive. This result, this option is correct. And about other one, reflexive or not. When a matter ends there, result is this. I, I check whether this is also correct or not. I, I simply I check it. For that purpose, we have to find whether it is reflexive or not. If reflexive, x relates with x that is x should be greater than x minus 1 it is true or not that is 0 is less than minus 1 that is true <coughs> but not symmetric reflexive means x relates with x is greater than x minus 1 and not symmetric but transitive. Okay, our answer is that. In some examination, only one option is correct. In some examination, it is given that when a question number say 10 to 20, uh, there may be one or more options correct. If it is given that more one or more options is correct, then you have to check all other uh, options. Then our next problem. On set of integer i, on set of integer i, a relation R is equal to x comma y such that mod of x minus y is divisible by 2. Then R is then R is number 1 transitive but not reflexive 
second option reflexive but not transitive symmetric but not transitive equivalence now one by one we have to check whether it is transitive or reflexive or uh, for equivalence we have to test also uh, that it is a transitive the first of all we check it is reflexive or not the reflexive means x x x will be there x comma x will be there that is mod of x minus x is divisible or not by divisible or not by 2 now x minus x is 0 it is divisible by all so uh, by 2 also it is divisible so it is reflexive number one reflexive we get it then symmetric now x if there is the relation the x relates with y it means x minus y its modulus value is divisible by 2 y will relate with x if mod of y minus x is divisible by 2 but mod of y minus x is simply mod of x minus y it is divisible by 2 so it is symmetric also then transitive suppose transitive means if x relates with y and y relates with z then x must relates with z that we have to prove if it is uh, transitive now y relates with z or not to see mod of y minus z y minus z to be divided by 2 z sorry this is equal to y minus z it is actually um, So y minus z this is actually divided by we have let us take x relates with y so we get that result again we, we take y relates with z that then y minus z is also divisible by 2 now we see x, my, x relates with z or not for that purpose we have to find x minus z whether it is divisible by 2 or not now it is actually this is equal to x minus y minus y minus x minus y minus plus y minus z y minus y plus y cancels now we see this part is divisible by 2 this part is also divisible by 2 so this thing is divisible by 2 so now we can conclude if y relates with x relates with y and y relates with z then x also relates with z so it is transitive so we get uh, the relation is such that it is reflexive, it is symmetric, it is transitive. So it is equivalence relation.